This mechanical control head has a flaw in its design. When put under pressure or put in the set mode, this cable should be nice and tight and this yellow spot will show in the glass that it, the unit is set. The problem is that when it is in the set position, this spring is not in this normal, the position I have it in now, but it is set in back more in line with that other spring that you see. It is mounted in the back and pulling the plates at an angle. This one used to be mounted, this end of the spring, mounted to this screw back here. And this screw head was in the back so that on the front here you would be seeing the threads. And when that is set in that position, in the back, it pulls these plates at an angle and it makes the plates bind. So I was trying to find out what could go wrong with this when it's never used. It's only tested during the inspection times and it was found to be getting stuck. Well, if that happened during a fire, it could prevent setting off the fire suppression system. So I checked everything out the way it was originally designed and nothing was worn. It was just this spring cocking the plates at an angle and they wobble back and forth quite a bit. And they shouldn't do that. Cocking puts the pressure on these two plates where they bind against each other. So just to sample out uh, my idea, I took this screw off and turned it the way you see it now with the head facing out and moved this spring to another position, just a temporary hook idea, so that it is more in line with the plates and that cable, the tension cable. When it's in line with the cable, it makes it function the way it's supposed to. This slides back and forth easily, which is what it should do. In the case of a fire, the items that are supposed to melt and allow this to pop back into this position to notify the suppression system and a bell so that people know a fire has begun and it needs to be put out. 